Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to calculate tensile state of aluminum crystal. And um, as usual, I will first start with the variational cell relaxation calculation to uh, determine the optimum crystal constant for this uh, sort of potential file. And then I will start the self-consistency calculation uh, for the wave function, and then the non-self-consistency calculation to refine the k-points. Uh, afterwards, I will use the DOS.x uh, program to calculate the tensile state and uh, use GNU plot to plot the tensile state. So the steps are basically the same as, um, as last time, um, as what we did in silicon. But uh, here, um, the difference is that uh, aluminum is a, is a metal. Uh, so there are several options that are different from uh, silicon. So we first uh, take a look at the variational cell relaxation calculation, the input file. It's more or less the, sa uh, the same as, as, as before, and it's a uh, FCC lattice, uh, and, the self uh, and the cell dimension is, um, is taken from experimental value and one, only one atom and one type of atom in the in the unit cell and here I add another line here uh, so, so this is uh, something similar as this but um, E cut double uh, FC is the wave function kinetic energy cutoff and uh, E cut rho is the uh, kinetic um, cutoff kinetic energy cutoff for the charge so uh, but but this, but this is not important. The important uh, the thing is that if you don't specify this line, um, the E cut row will be set uh, by default four times uh, the E cut double FC. So basically, if you if you don't specify the E cut row, it will automatically uh, defined to be one hundred sixty in this case. Uh, so this four times uh, E cut double FC is usually quite quite good for most of the pseudopotentials. However, in the case of ultra-soft pseudopotential or some other special pseudopotential, you may want to have it to be eight times the e cut WFC. In the end, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt to, to make this uh, multiplication higher, but um, this will make, make the uh, speed slower. I mean, in the end, you should um, you you should change change this from four times to six times to eight times, and see whether it makes a difference in the result or not. Um, in uh, like today, I will keep it as eight times here. Uh, yeah, and then for aluminum, this is important. This is important for uh, any calculation with respect to metal. Because if it is um, if it is not a semiconductor, if it is a metal, the Fermi surface will oscillate around uh, during the self-consistency calculation, and this oscillation will destroy or or cause some failure in the convergence. Uh, yeah. So so we and that's why we need some smearing near the Fermi Fermi level, and um, and here the occupations equals to smearing. And the method of smearing is Gaussian. You can also choose other methods, but Gaussian is, is usually a good starting point. And uh, the degauss is the Gaussian broadening. And 0 0.01 is uh, in the unit of Rydberg. And one Rydberg is around 13.6 uh, uh, electron volt. So this is around uh, 0 0.1 electron volt. This is not, not much. So um, usually I also see others use, using 0 0.02. 0 0.05 in the case of um, or, or you can even uh, do it larger 0 0.1 yeah? uh, personally I would choose it to be as small as possible um, if you choose it to be too small uh, may maybe there, there will be some convergence uh, problem and then you have to increase the increase this value here but of course you don't want to uh, set this value to be too high because otherwise the uh, the convergence would would not be very accurate. The result would not be accurate. So it's kind of a trade-off. Okay. So uh, so everything else is is um, as before, and because we only have one atom in the unit cell, we can set the k points to be larger, 10, 10, 10 by ten by ten. Yeah. Okay. So we save. 
the input file and then we just uh, run the file open yeah so just a second Okay, so now it's finished. Let's take a look at the output file. Ah, yeah. What we are looking for is the word final. Yeah, just final coordinate. And we can already paste the density from here to here. Oops. Oops. Uh, sorry. from here to here, yeah. And then this is the cell parameter. If you remember that initially for a FCC lattice, this, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So now it shrinks from 0 0.5 to 0 0.498, but, but not much. So we can write here over 0 0.5 and multiply it by alert uh, value okay and then we copy it from here yes oh no um, no and you copy it from here to here yes okay so now you see that the error is uh, within 1%, so this is quite good. It means that our pseudo-potential file um, actually uh, reflects the uh, experiment quite well. Yeah? Okay. So let's start the second calculation about the uh, self-consistency calculation. And um, in this case, we I would like to use the new lattice constant and you see that here the, the, the um, everything else is is the same it's just that uh, the k points you can also change it to other uh, values I don't change it here it's just 10 10 10 and then we can uh, do the calculation okay so it's finished now we take a look at the, at the non self consistency calculation uh, so I also want to change the lattice constant here and uh, in this case you see that we increase the k points uh, maybe we could start with uh, let's say 15 by 15 by 15 and see uh, what is the what is the effect on the tensor state so in in this case the more k points you have the more smooth your tensor state would be and yeah otherwise your tensor state would be uh, very inaccurate and and that's what I'm going to show here we first do a calculation of 15 by 15 by 15 and then we do a calculation of 30 by 30 by 30 and we see what's the difference on the density of state okay so everything else should be fine and then we calculate the non self consistency calculation because this is only 15 by 15 by 15 it should be quite quick yeah you see this down and then the next step would be to calculate the uh, tensor state and just input file for the tensor state uh, you may ask uh, how do you define uh, like how do you find out the uh, minimum and maximum energy for the plot uh, one way is uh, like there are two ways one is to take a uh, look in the output file of the self-consistency calculation or you take an output file of the non-self-consistency non calculation for example, the self-consistency calculation here. 
if you scroll down to the to the final calculation it lists all of the k points so basically um, it means that at this k point there are there are six bands yeah there are six bands um, and and um, energy of each each band is listed here in the unit of electron volt so in principle if you plot everything here it is the band structure it's just just that it is not a very nice band structure because there are, because there are not so many k points but uh, but this gives you a feeling what is the what is the energy distribution is more or less from minus 3 to 22 and uh, if you scroll down and you will see that it's like 25 and minus minus 5 yeah so it's minus 5 so at least you have to guarantee a minus 5 to 25 and uh, and you can add 10 to both sides so that uh, you are safe that you include everything inside and then we can uh, okay we can calculate the tensor state and then plot it with uh, a GNU plot I can also show you what is the script for the GNU plot it's actually very simple it's the same thing as last time basically define some uh, labels and then plot the output using the first two columns and enter and yeah you see that this is this is a dense of state but it's very noisy and let's take a screenshot and paste it in the in the in the excel so that we can uh, compare it later so let's say this is k equals 15 15 15 And then we just uh, make it smaller so that it's more visible. And now what we can do is that we can increase the k points here to 30 by 30 by 30. So in this case, um, actually the number of k points increases by a factor of eight. Yeah, it's not by two but by eight. And then we can run the code again. We don't have to run the self self consistency part because the wave function is already fixed. It's just that we want to change the uh, k points interpolation method. We want to change uh, like we want to have a denser k k point mesh, but uh, but the wave function is still the same. So we don't have to do the self consistency part. And this will take more time because we have eight uh, times more. Uh, k points okay uh, and then we do the tensor state calculation and then plot the and so you see that now it's much smoother and uh, we can also take a screenshot here this case k equals 30 by 30 by 30 and you see that indeed uh, it is much smoother than this one and also um, I forgot to show you what is the Fermi level the Fermi level is around 7.9 uh, so one way to find uh, Fermi level is in the output of the tensor state file or you can find it also in the uh, non self uh, the output file for the NSCF, NSCF calculation and it's here yeah so 7.9 electron volt uh, that is more or less here or or here so this uh, corresponds quite well to the reference uh, calculation in the in the literature yeah and um, and this uh, parabolic shape uh, actually means that this is this is close to the free electron gas 
and uh, although there are some oscillations here due to some uh, electronic structure thing, but in the end this is quite a uh, free free electron gas. Okay, so uh, so in today's video we have uh, calculated the tensile state of uh, a metal that is aluminum. If you like my video, please feel free to uh, press like or subscribe to my channel. Okay. Uh, I thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.